Once one of America's top Republicans, Lawrence King is serving a 15-year prison sentence for a multi-million dollar fraud. But financial crime is only half the story. This is the true story of Lawrence King. It is the story of a cancer at the heart of America and of its continuing cover-up at the highest level. One man is attempting to uncover the full story. John DeCamp is among the most highly decorated Vietnam veterans. A former Republican state senator in Lincoln, Nebraska, he is now a lawyer fighting the legacy of Lawrence King's abuse of power. It's a web of intrigue. It starts in our holy of holies, Boytown, Nebraska, one of the most respected institutions in the United States, and spreads out like a spider web to Washington, D.C., right up to the steps of the nation's capital, the steps of the White House, involves some of the most respected and powerful and richest businessmen in this United States of America. And the centerpiece of the entire web is the use of children for sex and drug dealing and big couriers, the compromising of politicians, the compromising of businessmen, but worst of all, the corruption of key institutions of government that have the duty and responsibility to make sure these things never happen. For John DeCamp, the trail starts in a unique town just outside Omaha. World-famed Boys Town is in the news again. Made famous by an Oscar-winning film, Boys Town is America's favorite children's charity. It was founded in 1917 by a Catholic priest, Father Flanagan. Father Flanagan, the saddest spectacle in our social life is the neglected, unwanted, and unloved boy who has become a serious problem in our society. Well, this town was started to be a uh, home for orphans. It was after World War I. And uh, since then, society has changed, and the problems of boys have changed. And so now, uh, it's a question of taking care of uh, homeless, uh, abandoned, neglected, uh, abused boys, and now girls also. Boys Town has been granted the privileges of an incorporated town, a Catholic diocese, and a school district for 500 children. Boys Town has cash reserves of $500 million, but still raises up to $35 million annually, solicited from the public by begging letters and promotional videos. I'm Father Val Peter, caretaker of Father Flanagan's dream, and executive director of Boys Town. Does Boys Town really exist, people ask me? You bet it does. Located in the heartland of America, Boys Town youth have come from many backgrounds and locales. As they graduate, they shall seek new adventures and head for different places. But always, they shall carry with them the spirit of Boys Town. If you'd like to help Boys Town, Send your tax-deductible gift to Father Val Peter, Boys Town, Nebraska, 68010. Boys Town, for me, was the first thing I ever heard of when you think of institutions that you respect. Believe it or not, I was there for a while when I was a young boy. When an institution like that gets contaminated, then you'd better, if you got any decency at all, uh, do something about it, or, or at least get it cleared up. John DeCamp lays the blame for the contamination of Boys Town on the one-time leader of the National Black Republican Council, Larry King. Larry King was the fastest rising black star in the entire Republican Party of the United States during all of the 1980s. And he was also one of the most evil individuals in this country in terms of being a dealer of children, in terms of being a thief, 40 million that they documented he stole, and in terms of using and compromising and corrupting one after another politicians. The base for his network was the Franklin Federal Credit Union, a people's bank in Omaha, Nebraska. Larry King was its general manager. Thank you. 
this is especially an exciting day for me. Mr. King was a very charismatic person. When he came to the credit union, he was brought in because the credit union was actually failing. He did everything to build the credit union. King courted the leaders of Omaha's wealthy business district. Banks, industry, and charities placed millions of dollars in King's hands. From 1979, Larry King developed close commercial ties to Boys Town, and Boys Town youngsters were sent to work for his companies. Boys Town had quite a few accounts at Franklin Credit Union. Those were considered very valuable accounts. They were handled exclusively by the bookkeeping department. But on the average of once a month or once every two months, we always seem to incorporate a person from Boys Town. But King used Boys Town not just as a source of young boys for his business. He prostituted them at sex and drug orgies. Paul Vanassi was a victim of King's abuse. He was also sent by King to lure Boys Town youngsters off campus. We used to just drive around and go up toward the home with whom we used to do some of the uh, scavenger hunts with picking up from the kids. You know, just kind of win their confidence, become friends with them for a while. Start inviting them to the parties. The kids were 10 years old or older. In 1986, King's plundering of Boys Town was reported by staff to its chief executive, Father Val Peter. Subsequent testimony proves that he carried out his own investigation but that King's victims refused to talk to him. Monsignor Hupp now blames himself for Boys Town's association with Larry King. Well, in retrospect, I uh, regret having any association with uh, uh, Larry King. Uh, had I known it at the time, it would...